So in this video, we are going to learn how to send emails to customer from Notion automatically. Now suppose guys, you are using Notion to match all of your customer or client details. And you want that whenever you add the details of a new client in Notion, automatically from your Outlook account or your Microsoft 365 account, an email should be sent to that particular customer. So guys, let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new item will be created in Notion, whenever details of a new customer, a new client will be added in Notion, automatically to the same client on their same email address, which we are going to enter, an email will be sent from our Outlook account. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Enix dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Notion to Outlook. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, First, we have to connect our Notion account, our Notion database with Public Connect in the trigger window. So that every time a new item is created, a new row of user details is added in Notion, automatically the details of that new user will be received inside Public Connect. The data of that new item will be received inside Public Connect. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those new user details, their name and email to Outlook so that using our Outlook account, we can send them some mails. Now let's take an example, like I'm adding the data of a new client, a new customer, which I'm onboarding over here in Notion as a new item. And I want to send a welcome mail, which I send to each and every customer using Outlook. So in this way, I can automate this process. All we have to do is add the details of the client, like name and email address in Notion. And using this automation, automatically, the same mail will be sent to each and every user whose details we add in Notion. So let's see how it is done. Start with our trigger window in our Choose app. Just search for Notion over here. Just select Notion. And then in trigger event from this dropdown, select new database item as the trigger event. After selecting a trigger event, click on connect and select add new connection over here. So here guys, we have to connect our Notion account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Notion button. Now after this, what we have to do, because we have already logged into our Notion account in our browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account. It is asking us to select the pages which we want to connect with Pavli Connect. So here is a list of all the pages which I have created in my Notion account. And out of all of these pages, data from which particular page we want to receive inside Public Connect. We have to select only that particular page over here. So I'm giving access to that one single page over here. If you want, you can give access to all of page according to your choice. So it doesn't matter how many pages you select, but the pages which you select, only data from those pages will be received inside Public Connect. So I'm selecting this particular page, client data, in which I'm entering the client details over here. After this, just click on allow access and then we will see our Notion account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the database ID. Now, because we have connected only one database, one page from our Notion account with Pavli Connect, here in this dropdown of database ID, you can see only one database. But if you have connected multiple database, multiple pages with Public Connect of your Notion account, here in this dropdown, you will see a list of all of those pages. And from this dropdown, you have to select the database that from which particular database you want to get the new data, new item from Notion. And after selecting our database ID, we just have to click on save and send test request. When we click on save and send test request, the data of the last item which we have created in our Notion database will be received inside Public Connect. 
So right now in my Notion database, I have created only one item. Here's a detail. We have the client name, email address, and the send status as yes. So here, when we click on the save and send test request, the data of the last item, the most recent item, which we have created in our Notion database will be received inside Pabli Connect. So just click on this save and send test request button. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details. So here we have the details of the last item, which we have created. Here you can see the same email address, which we have entered while creating the item in Notion database. Then we will scroll down. Here you can see the same name of this person, demo user, the same name, same email address over here. After this, we will scroll down further and you can see some other details for the same item being created in our Notion database. And also here you can see that in select name, we have yes. So we have selected yes over here in under send status. And then here you can see the same response too. So in this way, guys, the data of a new item from Notion is received inside Public Connect. We have successfully received the details of the user, which we were adding in Notion in our Public Connect workflow. Now, after this, what we want to do, we want to send an email to the same user whose data we have added. And for that, we just have to scroll down and come to our action window. But before that, you can see in our database, we have added this send status. And here under send status, we have two drop down. First one is no and second one is yes. So here guys, we have a condition that only the clients or the customer in front of whom the send status is yes, only to those customers we want to send the email. And if the send status is no in front of them, then in that case, we don't want to send an email to those particular people. So here guys, we have captured this response of status, send status over here inside Pabli Connect. So what we have to do, we have to basically add a filter condition in this automation workflow in such a way that for this particular client whose data we are receiving inside Pabli Connect, if the st send status is yes, in that case, this automation workflow will send the email. And if the send status of the client in front of them is no, in that case, this automation will not send an email to those people. So to add these kind of filter conditions, just scroll down and select filter over here. After selecting filter by Pavli in select label from this drop down, here you can see a list of all the responses of a new item which we have received from Notion. Here you can see that the same data which we have received from Notion can be seen in this drop down. And from this, select this select name over here. Then the filter type will be equals to and the value will be yes. So we have received yes over here from Notion and we have to select the same label, this label over here in the select label section and the filter type is equals to and the value is yes. And then just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here it is showing us that the condition is true. Now, because for this particular customer, this user, demo user, the send status is yes. That is why here in Public Connect, you can see that it is showing us the condition is true. So the send status in front of client is yes, then in that case, using this automation, we are going to send the email. And if the send status is no, in that case, the email will not be sent to that particular customer. After adding the filter condition, let's set up the step to send an email. Click on this plus button of add action step. And then here in choose app, search for Microsoft 365. Just select Microsoft 365 over here in this action window. After this in action event from this drop down, select send email, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Microsoft 365 account, our Outlook account with Pabli Connect using which we want to send the emails. So here to make this connection, click on this connect with Microsoft 365 button. Now, because I have also logged into my Outlook account in my browser, Pabli Connect has actually detected the same account in which we have logged in. We just have to select the account and then Public Connect will make the connection with the same Outlook account. It is just asking us for the authorization permission. Click on yes and this is it. We have successfully connected our Public Connect account with our Outlook account over here in this step. Now the Outlook account which we are connecting with Public Connect in this step with the same Outlook account, the emails will be sent. After connecting our account, the first thing it asks us is the subject that what is the subject line of the email which we want to send. So let's take an example. I want the subject line to be welcome to Pavli. So this is a subject line which I want to create, just creating a dummy email. 
After subject line, the next thing it asks us is the content type. And here, while creating an email, we have an option to create two different types of content. First one is a plain text and second one is an HTML based contact. So right now in this video, I'm just creating a email with plain text. So here we have selected plain text over here. Then it is asking us for the body content that what is the content? What is the body of the email which I want to send? So I want my body to be hello dear. And then here you can actually create a complete body of the email which we want to send. And instead of this, like for example, after hello, if I want to mention the name of the client or the customer to whom we are sending the email, you can do that too. So after hello, let's mention the name. After hello, let's click here. And from the drop down from Notion database, we have received the name of the person, name of the user over here. Here you can see that. Just select this response name and map it over here. And after that, every time we are going to enter the details of a new client over here in this Notion database, whenever we are going to send an email to them, in this email after hello, we are going to mention their name which we have entered in Notion. Then let me enter the body of my email which I want to send. Okay, so this is the email which I want to send to my users. So let me just correct the formatting of this email once. Here it is. And this is the email. Thank you. Regards. So whatever email you want to send, you just have to create the body of the email over here. And in this body section, as you can see, if you have entered some other details of the client in your Notion database, then you can basically capture that same data inside Public Connect. And from the trigger window, from this drop down, you can map that data over here as well. After creating the body content of our email, the last thing it asks us is the to recipient that to which particular user we want to send this email. And here in this field, we have to enter the email address of our user. So we have received the email address of the client in the trigger response, which we have received from notion. So from these responses, select this response of customer email, and then just map it over here. Click on this field from the drop down from notion database, select the response of email and it will be mapped. So whatever name and email we are going to mention in Notion with the same name and email, the email will be sent to the user. After entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that an email with this particular body and the subject line has been sent to this user. So let's check it. First, I will go to my Outlook account and then just go to the send section over here, send items. And yes, here you can see that welcome to Pavli, the same subject line, which we have entered while creating this workflow over here. And then here you can see hello demo user, the same username, which we have entered of a client in our Notion database. So an email is sent from our Outlook account just now few seconds ago. And this is the exact same email which we have created in our automation workflow inside Public Connect. And here you can see that this email has been sent to the same user whose email address and data we have entered in Notion. Now after this, let's check the inbox of this user as well. Let's go to the Gmail. And yes, here you can see that we have received the email over here as well with the same name and the same email address. This means guys, the automation workflow, which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new item will be created, the details of a new client, a new customer will be added in our notion database. Automatically an email from our outlook account will be sent to the same user containing some data from our notion database item as well. Now here guys, let me tell you one more important thing that the connection of Notion and Pabli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Pabli Connect will check for new data, new items created, new client details in our Notion account every eight hours. So every eight hours, Pabli Connect will check for new items which we have created. If we have created any new items, if we have entered any new client details in our Notion database, then Pabli Connect will get that data and then this automation workflow will trigger and one by one, it will start processing the data and send email. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications with Public Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, 
you can clone this same workflow into your own Pavli Clinic account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Clinic offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Clinic account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.